This summit must prove that we remain passionate and committed to free our people from the clutches of indignity, poverty, and want. It should be a summit that should prove to the world that when South Africans unite, when they get together, when they roll up their sleeves and work together, they are capable of moving their country forward. And it should be said after this summit that when the people of Limpopo decided to get together in the summit, they were able, willing, and prepared to move their province forward. So this summit, in other words, should be a defining moment, particularly now at, during trying economic times. The deliberations that will take place during this summit should give practical expression to the measures that you have defined in your own provincial development plan, but more importantly, to the national development plan. We know that social compacts and partnerships are the bedrock of competitive economies. Those countries that have been able to forge their cooperative efforts into compacts with clearly defined roles and outcomes are countries that have succeeded. We know that national consensus is driven by shared responsibility between government, labor, civil society, and business. Limpopo has a unique opportunity to become the strategic export hub for Southern Africa in terms of road freight. The gifts and the endowments that Limpopo province has are plentiful. And I know that as a province, the three pillars that you're seeking to focus on is mineral resources, agriculture, and tourism. Yes, indeed, those are key and critical pillars that can catapult this province to higher levels. And at this summit, you need to focus on how you can extract the best out of these three pillars and put Limpopo on a much higher footing. Good governance must be our creed. I was particularly pleased to hear the Premier saying, the troubles, the tribulations, and the trials that Limpopo went through a few years ago are now a thing of the past. Good governance has returned back to Limpopo, and I applaud you for that, Premier.